In this video, we are going to write a program that lets the user enter miles driven and gallons used and then calculates the miles per gallons. The program will then display the miles per gallons to the user. We're going to, let me close this one. We are going to start a new project, making sure that we're using Visual C Sharp, making sure it's a Windows Forms application. We're going to name our project Miles Per Gallon. And click OK. As soon as the form pops up, we are going to type the title bar. And press Enter. And there we see miles per gallon. First thing we need to do is we need to add two labels to our form. So click, press Enter, click, press Enter. I'm going to resize my two labels by selecting them. So I'm going to change the font to a 12. The first label, I'm going to change the text to say miles. The second label, I am going to change the text to say gallons. Now we're going to add two text boxes. The top text box, I am going to change the name to TXT Miles using camel notation. The second text box, I am going to rename TXT Gallons. We're now going to add a button to our form. So I added two buttons, so let me delete one of them. I'm going to call this button BTN Calc. And I'm going to change the text of the button to say Calc. So this is our form. So we got two labels and two text boxes, txt miles, txt gallons, and our calc button. The algorithm for our project is going to be the following. First, we need to declare three variables, one for miles, one for gallons, and one for miles per gallon, which I'm going to call MPG. And then we need to convert the text of txt miles to a number, specifically a double, and assign that to miles. And then we need to convert the text of txt gallons to a number and assign that to gallons. Once we've done that, then we can divide miles by gallon, which will give us the miles per gallon. And then we display MPG in a message box. So this is our algorithm to solve this project. And we're also going to implement exception handling so that if the user types something that's not a number inside of either of the text boxes, our program won't crash. So at this point, we're going to double click the calc button. And we are going to 
create a try block. Whenever you have a try block, you must have a catch block. So I got my open and close curly brace. I'm going to press enter. So this is where I'm going to put my code for the algorithm. So if everything goes right, it'll execute correctly. But if something goes wrong, like the user enters bad input, it's going to throw an exception to the catch block. So I'm going to now type my catch block, and I'll write the code later for my catch block. And my catch block must be enclosed between two curly braces. In programming, whenever you have an open and closed curly brace and code between it, we call that a block. So this is our try block, and this is our catch block. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is declare our three variables. And then we need to assign the text of txt miles to gallons. So we type in miles is equal to, now since we're dealing with doubles, we have to say double dot parse. And then what we're going to parse or what we're going to convert to a double is what's inside of the text box that's called txt miles. So txt miles dot text. Whenever you see an equal sign, what's on the right side gets done first, and then the result of that is assigned to what's on the left side. So we are going to parse or convert to a double the text of txt miles, and we specify that by txt miles dot text, and we're going to assign that value to miles. We're going to do likewise with gallons. So equal to double dot parse txt gallons dot text. Now that we've converted uh, the text to miles and the text to gallons, now we can calculate the miles per gallon. So we need to use the formula that MPG is going to be assigned miles divided by gallons. And finally, we're going to display the result in a message box. So we're going to say message box dot show And we'll have a little code here, and we'll say MPG is, and you need to quote a space. We'll concatenate it with the plus operator. And we'll say MPG dot to string. And open and close because we're dealing with a method called to string. Now, message boxes by default display text or strings, so we need to convert MPG to string. So this will run our code. Now the last thing we need to do here is we need to display an error message for the user, so when they, um, if they enter bad input, they will be warned that they've entered bad input. So we're going to just do that with a message box in the catch block. So message box dot show. So we'll say please enter numbers only. So now we are ready to test our program. So we can click this start button. And the first thing we want to make sure is that if our pro if no if they don't enter any data, which is what I do when I test your code, that our program doesn't crash. 
Without the try catch, it would crash. But since we have a try catch, it should not crash. So if I click the count button, see, please enter numbers only. So all right, the exception handling is working. So let's say we drove 200 miles and we only used 5 gallons. So that's about 40 miles per gallon. Yes, MPG is 40. So we can close this. So that is our program implemented miles per gallon with exception handling using try and a catch block.